shepherds, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. Things are better now, are they not? Ever since I'll save you the armor to me, not that blasted shit. Ice waves are taking me! I've been trying to touch even a drop of wine since the Yuletide feast. One more reason to stick with it. <laughs> oh. I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. Not if it happens the way it did last. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishir answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishir cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me. I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scraped by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again. Until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done. But today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Not with us, but you can rest assured Hafton has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid. But duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. Greatest snake in Northumbria, that Saxon is. We need his army to take Magnus. And we'll have it, if we falsify orders from Hafton ourselves. You would do this? Draw up fake orders and pass them off as real? That's it, and I know just who to speak with. Jor of Jorvik. He'll know what we need. Good. Jor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. <laughs> 